What's up guys, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome to Necropolis. This is a roguelike action RPG, kind of. It's been described as the sexual love child of Dark Souls and a roguelike similar to Binding of Isaac. I don't think that is a very good explanation. <laughs> it's not a very good description of the game because it gives people the wrong impression. Um, a lot of people, judging by the Steam reviews, which at the moment are mixed uh, a lot of people were expecting something that was a lot more like uh, Dark Souls and I think in that case you know it's a it's a little bit of dude you should know what a roguelike is by now or you know if something is dubbed as a roguelike find out what a roguelike is uh, because you've just completely misunderstood the point here there's like uh, there's comments of I wish it didn't have permadeath and this and that. It's like, well, that's the genre. Um, so th those, those reviews I think are unfair. Um, but you know, there's also the issue of like content and price and whatnot, uh, which we will, we will get to that in a mo. So what do you do? It's well, it's a pretty standard sort of rogue likey lightish, whatever you want to call it. I prefer to say rogue like. Um, sort of a fair like the Binding of Isaac, you know, you, you go through levels and then you finish the levels, you kill things, you go to other levels and you got to get to the end of the dungeon. Like I said, there's permadeath. Um, oh, here we go. In this case, we get, uh, we get items that, that, that make us better. You know, we're not leveling up or anything like that. We don't get experience, so we get, oh Jesus, this is pretty early to find these guys. Uh, you start off with a uh, sword and board, and that is the majority of the gameplay. You can come across crossbows and wands, I believe. Uh, but look, as much as I I like ranged combat in general, it it doesn't feel very good in this case. Um, this is not a good place to be. That's all right. I'm actually surprised I got through that. There are also chests to oh shit. <laughs> there are chests to open up and whatnot. Uh, which we will do now. This one's probably, there you go, it's just going to contain gems, which is pretty much currency. So you've got two weapon sets here, um, and you can mix and match between the the main hand and the, the off hand here. So the off hand, for the most part, is is probably going to contain a, a shield, uh, but like I said, you can find crossbows and wands and such. Oh, here we go. We can pick that up and now we can change our shield. So the way shields upgrade, as far as I'm aware, is it's just a matter of the the better the shield, I shouldn't have taken that damage. <laughs> the better the shield, the less stamina you consume while blocking. So you can block just like that and your stamina will go down very, very Dark Souls-esque. And then you can do like a shield bash, which I actually think is more valuable for the most part. I hardly ever block. Um, let's do a little, oh, you can also lock on, which is something I should be doing. Let's go take out these skeletons. Alrighty there. Yeah, baby. Skeletons are surprisingly tough. I don't, I don't fully approve of that. Um, okay, let's go back to our screamy sword, screamer sword or whatever it's called. Oh, those fucking skeletons, man. They just keep coming at me. Okay. Let's, let's jump out of the way there. So we've also got a dodge here. Um, so you, you know, it's, it's... Influenced by Dark Souls, absolutely, but it doesn't feel the same way. Uh, you're, you're a lot lighter on your feet. I, it, in general, it feels like more fast pace. Even when you've got a really slow weapon, um, it just feels generally more fast pace um, than, than Dark Souls. I actually really like it, uh, with the exception of a few weapons that do not have the weight that you would expect them to have. Um, most of the weapons feel really nice and you've got a few options here. So one mechanic I find really interesting, which I'll show you now, even though I probably shouldn't. So we're going to wait for this guy to come at us. We're just going to charge up our attack here and that actually permanently lowers our stamina. We can get it back. Don't worry. Um, but I like that. So it's, it's sort of this, this risk reward. Oh shit. I'm backed into a corner and uh, like a whole horde of guys are coming at me. So I'm going to do a big old charge attack and yeah, it's going to drop my stamina, which is going to make um, combat generally more difficult for the immediate future. But um, 
you know, then, then you can build your stamina back up. So I like that. It does have, look, I'm having fun with it, man. I am. Um, there's just a couple of concerns I have and a lot of people are having, but I don't think they, they're necessarily quite putting their finger on, uh, what it is that, that is making the game generally, you know, unsatisfying for them. Um, so they, they jump into other conclusions and, and, and I suppose ragging on aspects of the game that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, don't, don't deserve to be, um, called out as like bad game design on that part. So people seem to be really upset that it, that it doesn't feel more like Dark Souls. For me, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I expected that. Um, and I'm glad it doesn't feel that Dark Soulsy. Oh, sheet. <laughs> Did I just say sheet? Sorry, this is actually kind of difficult to, to critique the game and play it at the same time. I'm in trouble here. Okay. Um, let's, let's charge up here and hopefully not die. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. We're doing all right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just waste all our stamina. That's fine. Wow. Okay. Hooked blade. Um, all right, I guess. <laughs> we also got crafting. You may notice me doing that. So, hang on. Yeah, there we go. So we can, uh, for the moment, we can craft food. Um, and this actually feels kind of, and it's more just the animation than nomming on like a big leg of something. It feels very um, monster hunter-y. Okay, so what are my personal concerns? What do I not love about the game? The moment-to-moment -moment combat... I think is fun enough and I enjoy getting new uh, armors and weapons and whatnot. I just personally think there's not enough of them, maybe. I know there's also the issue of like, it's a roguelike, so you can't really critique, um, you can't really critique the game unless you've got like so many hours that you've seen everything. Um, and I fully appreciate that, but I've also been spending the day, what did that do? I think that gave me some sort of bonus. <laughs> should be paying attention here. I've been, I've spent the day looking up reviews and just trying to find, looking at streams and trying to find, um, find out everything I can about the game. Um, so I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on, on what is, what is being offered here and what you get, uh, for your $30. And that, that I think is a lot of people's biggest gripe with the game. It just doesn't feel like you get a lot for, for the money. Um, which of course is always, it's going to be subjective. A lot of people might, might think that $30 is absolutely fine for this game. Um, it feels kind of, I don't know, more 15, 20 range. Um, and I, and I think people were expecting a lot more based on the influences and based on the price. So it only has one class. Now, usually that wouldn't be a problem if, if it didn't, all right, when you, when you go, when you start the game, you select, you go to the screen that's like, hey, select a class, kind of, uh, and you select your, your, the color of your, your little dude here and you can select the gender. I don't think I want to go over there. <laughs> um, it feels so much like there should be more there. Oh shit. Yeah, there's traps as well. Um, there's a, there are a lot of perils here. It feels like there should be more there. It's like the way it's presented just looks like there's a whole bunch of content missing. Um, and the developers have confirmed that they plan, it, assuming the game actually sells well, um, they, they do plan to release DLC in the form of other classes. Um, unfortunately, that's going to be paid. So... Look, I don't know, man. That's why oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's I'm kind of really conflicted on it because I enjoy the game as it is, but I also recognize that it, it all, also feels like there should be more here. Um, and the fact that the, you know, arguable, arguable complete experience with the other classes is not only gated behind whether or not the game does well, but uh, also, you know, more monies to just unlock those. So I don't know, man, I'm not even, I don't even want to like pass judgment on that. I'm just like, I'm 100% on the fence about this unknown potion, potion of vigor. Yeah. I'll put that in my face, put that in my face. So the other issue I have is it's, I don't like the pacing of it and this is entirely subjective. I prefer roguelikes that have, um, 
I suppose, you know, quicker games. So I, I really looked into, you know, other people's experience with the end game, um, people who have beaten it multiple times. From my experience, or from what I've read rather, uh, it seems people are generally beating it in six to seven hours. It's got nine levels with a tenth that's kind of a non-level, I think people are saying. Um, six to seven hours seems to be the norm. People have beaten it in three so people who 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 are posting that like on forums and whatnot are using that as like a an excuse like they're like saying hey only only six to seven hours and i beat the game and that those people tend to be coming from a place where they don't re normally play roguelikes uh and they don't quite understand the mechanic of of replaying it now whether that's a valid complaint in that the replayability is not you know fully there i can't say because you know i haven't beaten it yet um, this is just like a let's play with some light critique. We call it a first impressions if you like. Um, but from, but for my money, I, I would much rather a full run be done in like 45 minutes. Uh, but that is entirely subjective. Um, I do recognize that. So what we're looking at here is uh, persistent bonuses. So we can unlock these using, we've actually got two currencies. We've got the, the gem currency that you'll see scatter all, all over the floor. And, um, I can't remember what the other one's called. Some sort of, uh, well, the circle with the with the triangle in it, that currency. And you gain that uh, a few different ways, I think, but the, the main way is from completing runs, or rather dying, finishing a run, whether you win or lose. Uh, and then based on your performance, you get a certain amount of those little coin thingies and then you can use them to um to buy new color schemes for your character or, or unlock these little extra bonuses here and as far as i'm aware you can only have one at a time but you can switch them out whenever you come across one of these uh little shrine things um and whichever one you pick is persistent for the next run so if i unlock another one here and make that my active one that will by default be my active uh perk for the next run so what do we got here um I think, hang on, again, this is roguelike-y sort of stuff, and a lot of people have a problem with this, um, but see, that's that's the issue. You've got you've got this crowd of people who uh, are expecting Dark Souls, and they come to this maybe not fully appreciating what a roguelike is and what it's meant to be, and they see that that this hasn't any, hasn't got any explanation, and they, and they spit the dummy, you know? Um so yeah, it just gives some flavor text and you have no idea what it does, but I guess you can kind of infer eating is overrated. So I, I can only assume that this means you have to eat less. Uh, so maybe your stamina doesn't deplete as much. I don't know. Um, this, oh man, drink your way to a healthier you. Blood is the answer you're looking for. Vampirism is your friend. Wow. Oh, that looks like some sort of life leech ability. Oh, I like that. I'm going to save my stuff because you can also use these uh, this secondary currency here for opening chests at the beginning of of a level. Have we talked to this guy yet? So you'll see the, this, this guy showing up, uh, selling things and whatnot. Hey, it looks like we can actually buy it. Well, if we had enough, uh, enough gems, we could buy a crossbow here. Let's go to the shrine. The shrine... Oh, we need five. I already went there. All right, let's just go up to the next level. So this was level one and it's taken me 13, 13. Look, if I wasn't talking, I would have done that a lot faster. I reckon I could have gotten through level one in eight minutes. It's really not hard. I, I after dying once on, on the first level, I never did again. Um, it's really, really easy to get to the second level. Now I'm doing pretty well the second level too, and I think I've, you know, fairly consistently gotten to the third and fourth level. As I said, there are nine levels. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. You know, it's it's just a matter of like, I think people, you know, a little bit, I'll be honest, a little bit of my, myself included, I feel like the price is a little bit high for what you get here. It kind of, it's presented in a way that, that suggests that there should be more content um, and... You know, granted, a lot of that could just be uh, a matter of perception, and I think it was I think it was marketed cleverly marketed in a way that that didn't confirm. Look, it could be taken either way. You know, it's just it's kind of a shitty situation where people are expecting it to. to they're either expecting it to be something that's not, um, whether that's you know they're expecting it to to be Dark Souls when it's not Dark Souls. 
or they expected there to be more content as a result of its roguelike title. You know, Binding of Isaac, this is not. Uh, Binding of Isaac has, you know, those hundreds of items and whatnot. At least as far as I can tell, this doesn't have that kind of diversity. Uh, does that mean it's not fun? It's absolutely fun. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with it. Um, the only thing in terms of gameplay that, that really lets it down for me is, like I said, the pacing. I just wish, personally, completely subjective opinion. Uh, well, a, opinion is subjective, but you know what I mean. Completely subjective here. I just wish the runs were shorter. So let's open this uh, chest here. It requires one token. They must be called tokens. There you go. Um, so this is either going to be a weapon or, or a piece of armor. Okay, it's a weapon. I kind of wish it wasn't that weapon, I'll be honest. Um, hang on, hang on. Can I... Wait a second. It's a tier one... Sorry, tier zero, Screaming Blade is... Hang on. How fast is that compared to... Oh, man. Was this faster? Yeah, right. Let's get the Hook Blade and we'll rock this big old thing here. So this is an entirely different different weapon, right? This is like your Monster Hunter style greatsword. So as far as I'm aware, or as far as I'm concerned, rather, in my observation, there seems to be kind of three general categories of weapons there's the super fast weapons there's the kind of medium they're a little bit heavier weapons and then you've got the really really heavy weapons i think this is this seems kind of i don't know it looks like a really heavy weapon but it's kind of one of the faster of the really heavy weapons now again i could just be talking out of my ass and maybe the devs have you know not actually grouped weapons into like three weight classes, but that's just what I've observed from uh, my time with the game. There are hammers, axes, swords. There's a, a, like a big, cl there's clubs, I think. There's some weird shit. There's some weird shit going on. Um, they, they spout all sorts of different like electrical or fiery shit. There's, there's some variation here. Um, and of course you've also got the items. We should probably craft some more stuff. So you've got like rotten food, which gives you, has a chance to make you vomit and then you lose a bit of your maximum stamina, I believe. Then you've got regular rations, which are, you know, absolutely fine. Um, and then you've got iron rations. Oh shit. You've got iron rations that, uh, that are like regular rations, but you know, just better. They, um, they restore a lot more of your, uh, of your stats. Okay, let's deal with these guys. This is actually, this is a really good weapon to have on level two. It's probably, uh, it's probably a better weapon than you normally would get on level two. So that's pretty cool. Kind of wish we'd, we'd found uh, more armor though. So I'm just crafting here, just crafting away. So from what I've seen from other people's videos and streams, you can craft more than this. Uh, presumably you've just got to unlock it. Maybe you find a... Uh, blueprints or instructions or recipes or whatever you want to call it. Um, there is also, there's also friendly fire here. And what I mean by that is enemy, oh shit, <laughs> enemy friendly fire, which is really cool. You can actually uh, get, uh, with your maneuvering, you can get uh, the enemies to, to hit each other. And after that, they kind of get pissed and they keep fighting. <laughs> it's pretty good. Depending on what, oh shit, I just died. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. That guy does more damage than I expected. Wow. All right. I haven't died on level two in ages. Uh, yeah. So they'll attack each other and depending what faction they are, because there's actually different factions within the enemies themselves. So sometimes you'll come across a group fighting another group just on their own and you don't have to in interfere at all. You, there's not a prerequisite to clear a room before you pass through. You can conceivably do, um, the whole Dark Souls thing where you where you just run through the room and run to the end of the game. I would not advise it in every situation because I don't think you can open doors necessarily when you've got, like when you're directly in combat. Um, you don't have immunity when you're open, opening doors, at least that's been my experience. Um, but yeah, so you don't have to fight everything, which is cool. So you can sneak around and, and kind of be more stealthy. Armors, uh, as far as I'm aware... Look, all the stats are hidden, so it's a little bit difficult to tell, but one cool thing that I found was stealth armor. 
that I'm not sure if I actually had any stealth properties, but it made my character run a hell of a lot faster. And I thought that was really cool. So I really like moving quickly with a heavy weapon, knocking people over with my shield and then, and then slicing them up with my uh, big old heavy sword. That was a lot of fun. So as you can see, that uh, took us almost 20 minutes there. So it's quite a big time investment um, for each individual run, you know. Again, not my favorite. But on the bright side, you can exit and resume the game exactly where you were, exactly where you saved and exited um, at any time. So, you know, if you get to level two and then you have to go and do something, you can come back right where you left off. Uh, not a problem, which is great. That is a great consolation for the fact that the runs are quite long. Anyway, guys, I, I'm sure you get the general idea of it. It, uh, it it promised to be really, really cool, and I still think it's really cool. Just, uh, it was perhaps a little bit misleading with its price, which isn't necessary. Let's not, like, it's not the dev's fault. It's not the game's fault. Um, it's just the general perception that, you know, a $30 game, um, people expected there to be a little bit more. And, and perhaps there wasn't, there wasn't. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how uh, how the DLC pans out, if it does, because it seems like a lot of people are getting Steam refunds, which is unfortunate. But uh, but there you go. I don't necessarily want to recommend it or not. Uh, I just wanted to, because like I said, I was on the fence about it. I just want to show you some gameplay and hopefully you guys can get a better idea of what the game is about as a result of that. Oh, and lastly, I should mention that it does have co-op uh online handled through your steam friends list anyway guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to gently caress that like button it needs love like everything does taste the game be excellent to each other and i'll see you next time roleplay gamer out independence has not been treating me kindly since breaking ties with the empire credits have been slim I'm almost embarrassed to say I've spent most of my time lounging around in the cargo hold, sampling the cargo and entertaining, shall we say, less than reputable company. I even installed a hot tub.